hello everybody welcome to my video today so guys today i will be showing you how to uh do a sun seed flower oil at home so guys this sun seed flower oil you are going to do it is going to come out organic and pure so the only thing is that you are going to need your patience if you don't have patience please i will advise you just look for somebody that is called patient <laughs> i'm kidding anyway guys you need patience <laughs> you need patience if you have any friend called patient just invite them to give you that patient because guys uh really you need patient to do this so i'm going to pour my uh, seal into a fry pan to just toast it out for before i blend it so there is no uh specific time or amount uh a toast to toast this uh, seed you are just going to see the way i'm doing it when it starts to you know change color not or you don't need to allow everything totally you know some we change some we not so it's okay in that form but if you want to also do it without toasting you can do it so this is how the color is going to come when you see the color uh, is uh turns like this you are going to remove it from your flame so after five minutes to allow it to cool a little bit i'm going to start to blend my um uh, my seeds you are going to blend to a smooth just like flour or a powder i don't know any form so after that you continue to blend and you know blend everything totally uh then you start i'm going to show you what we are going to do after finish blending everything so here guys now i have finished blending all my seeds okay now this is where you will need your patient guys really uh at, but you are going to get a great and a very organic i mean organic oil that you can use to season your food your salad anything you can drink it you know which is very very contains a lot a lot a lot for our body and health is good for anything you want to do guys so now you are going to need very cold water a tap water which is cold we are in the winter now i don't know uh, wherever you country you are but you will need cold water but here i don't need cold water from the fridge because here is cold our water is already cold from the tap direct so you are going to need cold water not warm water okay not warm at all just leave warm water aside so this is where you are going to work it out now you will start to work it's like when you are doing dough for pizza or a dough for bread or any dough you know so you are going to just be working uh you know with the paste in this form you add little go with little water i will advise you add just use a teaspoon to work to uh add water so that you don't add excess water and destroy everything uh, at, at last but if in case it happens like that guys just return it back to your fry pan dry the water off then you start again don't worry it's not waste but it's like you're going to do double work so now i'm just rolling it out guys i'm rolling it's just a form to test the paste if it's ready for pressing out the oil okay meanwhile it's not ready because why uh when the pastes are still separating from each other meaning the oil is not ready to come out so as you can see the oil is not coming out that is the the reason why you will roll and um work it out if it's not um forming ball you know when something just form ball without too much hard work uh, many the oil is ready to you know work out and pressed well so each time you roll and it's not um rolling out well the way a ball is supposed to be so in many you have to add water and you are going to go with very uh tiny water you know just few water you can use that is why i say you you are going to need a teaspoon to apply your water into this place so each time you match the the paste you work out the paste so you find the it's not you roll it then you find that the that it's not forming ball meaning you still need to add water work it out again that is why i say you need patient but guys you are not going to regret uh what will come out from this uh a sun seed flower oil so you are going to work you as you can see me i will roll meanwhile it's still not we are still not there okay we are still not there that is why i said this video is step by step just for you to learn because this sun seed flower oil 
is difficult uh, to press out the oil and it's a different from it if it was to be sesame seed uh sesame seed sesame seed is quick okay it's very quick to press out the oil so that is why you you are going to work a little bit while but don't worry guys you will enjoy what will come out later okay so you will continue to roll as you roll you found that now we are ready as you can see there's more oil than the paste you know separating the paste is not separating anymore so meanwhile we have come to the uh we have come to the end of adding water rather now we are going to uh work the paste out this is where where you are going to need the method of like when you are doing uh, a, a a dough for a bread to prepare a bread or a dough for a pizza so that is how you are going to work it out very well and press out the oil you are going to find a lot of oil will just be coming out that easy like uh, a magic so this is how you press out your oil So after you found a lot of oil has come out, you are going to remove it. Okay, you are going to remove it just to separate. Not that if you leave it inside, um, it will change anything. It's just a form. At least remove the ones that are out. You know, so that you can have the space to continue to work it again uh, with the dough. After then, any oil that comes out, you add it to the ones you already have what i will be doing each time i press that oil as you can see more space for you to find more oil so this is how i will go on and on until i found out that uh, the sun seed flower is not bringing out oil that much anymore so then i will stop and that's all So what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to, you know, take it uh, a, a little by little, uh, press it and remove it from the bowl where I'm working the old things so that uh, at least because the oil are not coming out anymore like when, uh, like the, the first time I press it. So now I'm going to remove the paste from the bowl then why I do the next a stage of this oil so here now guys i've finished no separate the oil i'm going to filter it uh with my cutting wood to make it come clear so here i have set my cutting wool you can use uh, your kitchen uh paper to separate it but i just want to use a uh, cutting wool anything you have is okay so now i'm going to pour the oil to my phone uh to pass through the uh the cutting wool so that you separate like you can see the down there from the oil so we get a clear beautiful oil guys So here we have done, I've uh, separate it and this is the oil. Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy to, you know, achieve 150 milliliter of oil, guys. 150 milliliter of oil, that's huge amount. So guys, this is uh, how you can DIY organic sunset flower oil at home. So I hope you love this video. For those of you that have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to my channel to follow me on for many other videos. And I hope you like and also share this video to support me. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>